Krav Maga and Karate are both popular martial arts that can be effective for self-defense, but they differ in terms of their origins, philosophies, and training methods. Let's compare them in various aspects. 1. Origins and Philosophies Krav Maga Developed in the 1930s by Emi Lichtenfeld, Krav Maga originated as a self-defense system for the Israeli military. It focuses on real-world combat situations and emphasizes practical techniques to neutralize threats efficiently. Karate Originating in Okinawa and later Japan, karate is a traditional martial art that emphasizes discipline, self-control, and self-improvement. It incorporates striking techniques, forms, kata, and sparring. 2. Techniques Krav Maga Krav Maga techniques are designed to be practical and efficient. It includes a combination of strikes, kicks, knee-elbow strikes, throws, joint locks, and defensive techniques against various attacks. Training often involves realistic scenarios and stress drills. Karate. Karate techniques primarily involve strikes, punches, kicks, knee strikes, and blocks. It also includes throws, joint locks, and sweeps, although they are not as emphasized as in Krav Maga. Karate training places importance on proper form and technique. 3. Self-defense focus. Krav Maga. Krav Maga is specifically designed for self-defense in real-world situations. It teaches techniques to handle common attacks, such as punches, grabs, chokes, and weapons. The training emphasizes quick and decisive counterattacks to neutralize threats efficiently. Karate. While karate also has self-defense applications, it also focuses on personal development, character building, and sportive aspects. Traditional karate training includes forms, sparring, and controlled techniques, which may not directly translate to real-world self-defense situations. 4. Training Methods Krav Maga Krav Maga training is often intense and realistic, incorporating stress drills, scenario-based training, and simulations of real-life encounters. It aims to develop quick reflexes, situational awareness, and the ability to handle high-pressure situations. Karate Karate training varies depending on the style and instructor, but it typically includes basics, forms, partner drills, sparring, and sometimes competitions. Training emphasizes discipline, focus, and the development of physical and mental strength. 5. Effectiveness Krav Maga Due to its focus on real-world self-defense situations and its practical approach, Krav Maga is often regarded as highly effective. Its techniques are designed to be simple, direct, and efficient, allowing practitioners to respond swiftly under stress. Karate Karate can be effective for self-defense, but its effectiveness depends on the practitioner's skill, training, and adaptability. Some karate schools and styles may place more emphasis on self-defense applications, while others prioritize traditional aspects or sportive aspects. Ultimately, the choice between Krav Maga and karate for self-defense depends on your personal preferences, goals, and the training available in your area. Both martial arts have their strengths and can be effective if learned and practiced diligently. It's worth considering factors such as the instructor's expertise, the training environment, and your own physical abilities when making a decision.